So, welcome to Universe Sandbox, the game where you can destroy planets and end people's lives. Isn't that, isn't that just amazing? The stuff that you can do? So, this is Universe Sandbox. It just got an update a couple days ago, like a couple weeks ago. And it is time to start playing. Now, we're gonna explode a black hole because I've had Universe Sandbox for a while. We're just gonna take uh, this black hole right here and uh, uh, we're going to uh, go to the explode button and we're going to blow this boy up. Uh, why did the black hole just turn into a supernova? I don't think when a black hole explodes, it, it randomly, magically just turns into a supernova. That's not what it's supposed to be. Yeah. Oh, jeez! Oh, dang. Uh, well, we knew what was going to happen now, and uh, our inner planets are now disintegrated. That ran really fast, but look at the time there. There's no way that's going to run that slow. Just reset time. Restart. Loading. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is take this Uranus. Let's see. Uh, Uranus. There we go. Uranus. There we go. Now it does not. Now I won't get demonetized. Well, I'm not monetized either. So now that we've renamed our Uranus, now it is time to destroy Earth with all for Lord givings. God has greeted us with this planet and this solar system. Welcome to planet Earth. 30 minutes per second. All right. Okay. Welcome to Earth. Le wait, planet nine? Is that a secret planet? Let's launch it at the Earth. Uh, that is not what I wanted to launch. That is not what I wanted to launch. No. There's a planet nine in this game, and is it much bigger than... <gasps> Oh, uh, that is way bigger than Earth, uh, so I will not use that. It was gonna destroy. I'm just kidding. I'm gonna obviously use it. What else am I gonna do? Oh, Earth just got sucked in the planet. Oh, the Earth just exploded in this thing. Dang, it was that big. That it was just that much bigger than the Earth. Dang. I thought it was like 12 times bigger than the Earth, but no, it's actually three. That is the most, that, that plant is probably because that it's that small. <laughs> hmm. Our next experiment is on the sun. We're just going to take our nice little sun that burns your eyes, even with glasses on. And we're going to take this bad boy. Just put this up to 10,000 degrees. Uh, actually, uh, yeah. It's not that much. We gonna go extreme and put it to this number. Yeah, we're just gonna slow this down. So you know what? Um, even 15 minutes I can do. Let's see. Three, two, one. Nothing's affected. That's good. Earth isn't affected. That's good. Nothing is affected yet. Since nothing is getting affected, we need to speed this bad boy up. Like, by up, I mean a lot. The Earth is starting to get hotter. It's at 45 degrees Fahrenheit for the average temperature. It's still not enough speed. Earth is getting way hotter. It's already at 47 degrees, but... Is that even fast enough to show it? To oh, now it's 48, which that's not much changes. So we gotta go extreme! Wow, and it's stuck at like 50. Okay, um, so since that didn't destroy the Earth, you know what? Since you aren't grateful enough, Earth, 
Will the sun stop changing its numbers? Uh, you know, hold on. It's 2035. And the date back there. Take this and, uh... Better! Now this planet is... Oh my god! Oh my... G All the planets are disintegrating and they're just turning into blue mashed potatoes. So now... There's not gonna be much in this video today. Just letting you know. So... What am I gonna do next? Just gonna take the nice little sun over here. And then we're just, um... Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Now all the planets will lose their gravity because the sun isn't even a star anymore. But it's still mainly hydrogen. It's just not big enough. Now all the planets will leave the sun and the solar system will be destroyed. But Jupiter's still smaller. The sun is actually just slightly bigger in terms of radius. It's just slightly bigger. Look at Jupiter. Jupiter's one Jupiter in mass, one Jupiter in radius. The sun is five Jupiters in mass, 1.5 Jupiters in radius. 1.05 Jupiters in radius, though. Well, I should, next time I'm going to learn not to do that to the sun. So, yeah. Oh, this does not look like a Greek case for me. The last thing I'm going to do is... The only thing I can do... New Empty Simulation. Now, let's... We're going to do a little experiment I like to... Oh, oh my god. It saved all those things I had. It even saved Ed the Watermelon from an older version of Universe Sandbox. I love that. Well, RH87 is a nice little gas giant. It's a rogue object. It's four times the mass of Jupiter. And it doesn't have much hydrogen. It has barely any hydrogen. It has more silicate than anything. But no, we're not here just to discover my old planets that I made. I'm here to get the galaxy. I'm here to just get the Milky Way galaxy and the things out of my way. See, this is the Milky Way galaxy. And this black dot is the black hole that's in the middle. And this black dot is the world's largest, is the biggest black hole in the Milky Way galaxy, Sagittarius A. When I was doing that sun experiment with the black hole thing, the exploding black hole, I used Sagittarius A. But what if you deep, what if you just took our Milky Way, it's one Milky Way, what if you started decreasing the mass? Then you add more mass. Oh geez, that's bright. I mean, if we just lower it down, it's gonna get like less brighter because there's less nebulas. But if we put it to super, to a lot of it, it's that baby's gonna burn your eyes. That, that's not what I mean. But now, this is where things are gonna get a little fun. With Earth. Now, the Earth may freeze because Universe Sandbox obviously had a dumb update where it made the Earth automatically freeze. But who cares about that? We just need a laser. Oh no. Wait. Why when I imported the Earth? Get, get out of here, Moon. No one cares about you except for the people who like the Moon. I'm just kidding. People care for the Moon. Without the Moon, we'd probably die. Or climate change, I did. Alright, so we just laser in, but that's not enough laser. Yeah! That's exactly what I now, now still know. Eh. That's way better. Let's check the Earth now. Did I break through the atmosphere? I've had to have had to break through the atmosphere for the Earth to get that hot. Hold on, let me just do Is it, it going to let me zoom in or what? The game is so laggy, it's not letting me zoom in. But we can just look on it through the Earth map. Let's see. Ooh, uh, oh. Yeah, I definitely broke through that atmosphere. All that black stuff is parts of the atmosphere. 
You know how when a paper burns, there's still gonna be black spots even while it's still burning? That's the same case with every object that can burn. Mars, this is our friend Mars. This is our friend Mars. This is our friend Mars, and this is our friend Mars. You're wondering, why are there four Marses here? What if we put one Mars on a position log? I, sh I sure wish this game would let me put it on a temperature log. But, yet again, it doesn't work. Because Universe Sandbox added an update that told them that they shouldn't have put. It's making the planets automatically freeze when there's no star. Which, it makes Oh my god! Did you hear that noise? Um, I don't... Jeez. The sound of the game's hurting me. 